Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be doing a new lesson. Uh, while working with Drupal, I wanted to um, kind of allow multiple file upload, uh, but I couldn't do that in the default Drupal settings. So I launched out uh, to look for modules that I could use, uh, and I came up with um, the PL upload uh, module. Right, let, let, let me explain what this does. Uh, say, for example, if we create a new content of type article, which allows an um, unlimited amount of images to be uploaded, uh, it simply means I have to do it one by one. So if I click and choose file, select that file, click on upload. Until I've done this, I'm not able uh, to upload another file. So one way where we can copy five files at once and click on upload and then it starts uploading them so this is what uh, the PL upload module uh, does uh, for this tutorial we're going to be using three modules uh, the first one is the file field source uh, it enables us to choose uh, the source from where we're going to be uploading our files uh, we have the file field sources PL upload uh, which allows us to use the PL upload module in our file field source so to start out, let's go ahead and download these three modules. And when we finish downloading the three modules, we're going to download uh, the library from the PL upload site. So let's do that. In my command line in Drush, I do Drush download uh, PL upload. I download in five field sources also. Five field underscore sources. And I'll also be the downloading the file field and it's called sources PL upload. File field and this called sources PL upload. Once the three modules have been downloaded, the next thing is to enable our three modules. Right. Once our three modules have been enabled, uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, download uh, the PL upload library. As you can see, if you click on download, uh, you'll see that there are four license types. Uh, there's the GPL version 2, there's one for single website. If you're ready to um, abide by the GPL version 2 uh, terms, go ahead and download this. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, the GPL version 2 uh, license type. So I've downloaded that. And I've extracted it into my libraries folder in my website. So there it is called PL upload. Right. So let's go back to our website and let's go back to content type of article. Let's manage field of article. Right. So now that we have our field uh, image field, we can now decide where we want the file source to be and what our uh, file source type we want to use. So I go ahead and click on edit operations, scroll down and under file sources, if you expand that, you should now see advanced upload widgets PL upload. I'll check that one and uncheck this one. Uh, I'll set my maximum number of values to unlimited and I'll click on save settings. Beautiful. Once that's done, let's go back to our own page. And let's create a new content of type article. So if I click on content, add content of type article. And if we scroll down now, we should see our image field having to select one or more files to upload. Uh, so let's minimize this window so that we can demonstrate this bit. I open my image file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these five files in here. So I click them and drag in there. And now you should see my five files uh, listed in here. So once this is done, all you need to do is click on start upload. And you should find out that every upload process you start one by one, upload, upload. Uh, which is much more faster than me uploading uh, or rather uploading a file. And then having to do the next one one by one. So 
this is how to use a multiple file upload in the Drupal CNS. I'll see you in the next lesson.